The final phase in the demaic process is the control phase. The control phase is about ensuring that the process changes stick and do not revert back to old ways. The variation and inconsistencies experienced in the original process flow must be removed in the should-be process flow. Reduction and variation of the process will reduce company costs and improve profits due to the improved quality. An integral part of keeping variability low is establishing process management, which involves the dedication of individuals and teams to the continuous improvement of a business process. Process ownership requires that senior managers or executives who are accountable for the performance and improvement of their core process lead respective processes. This is the reason it is so important to have champions and sponsors involved on Lean Six Sigma projects from the beginning so that they can help to ensure the full engagement of their teams to the process change so that sustainable results can be achieved. For each belt or team lead, their role in this phase is primarily to facilitate the tasks that need to be completed. The process owners and managers are key to successfully executing the selected solution. Process owners should be involved in the detailed development of the selected solution. In the control phase, a document known as the Standard Operating Procedure, or SOP, is drawn up and utilized in the training and reference for all parties involved on how the new process should flow. The SOP should primarily be written by process owners and approved by managers, with any recommended training being done by the process owners. At the completion of the control phase, process owners are responsible for ensuring the new process is enforced because the project team is no longer key in driving implementation.